So, uh, yeah, there was a situation with rooftops and alleys. Uh, this is basically to sum it up. Um, hi, this is Michael, dev of rooftops and alleys. I want to address a situation that recently unfolded, which uh, resulted in my game temporarily being removed from Steam on September 27th. Steam received a DMCA, uh, which claimed that I would have used an asset in the game without obtaining prior authorization and therefore would have infringed the rights of the owner of the asset. As a result, the game was temporarily removed off the platform uh, for the DMCA procedure to unfold. The said asset used in game for the time trials, checkpoints and course details slash scores was actually brought, uh, was actually bought from the Unreal Engine marketplace slash store last February. By purchasing it, I acquired a license on the asset, allowing me to use it in game before receiving the DMCA takedown notice. The author of the asset uh, reached out to my server server admin to find out whether I had used this asset or not. My server admin who answered first is not involved in the game's development and was therefore unable to give a proper and definitive answer. Unfortunately, their exchange led to some general confusion as to how the asset w was acquired and used. Um, as I was planning to respond to the author of the asset and clarify the situation, I received a DMCA uh, strike. It came as a big shock to me as I had purchased the asset and strictly complied with the license granted to me. This is why I immediately reached out to the seller of the asset to better understand the claims and resolve the misunderstanding. In order to be as transparent as possible, I shared with him the purchase of the receipt, proof of the purchase and the license on the asset. It is very important to mention that I have never claimed that I developed this asset. At the time, false and misleading comments started to spread online with respect to this matter. At that stage, the game had been removed for five days already uh, from Steam. As you can imagine, a very stressful period, not to mention the consequential loss of revenue. Yeah, because that's another thing like he would have anyone who potentially would have bought rooftops and alleys in that time. Obviously, they wouldn't have been able to buy it. So he may have lost quite a lot of revenue for that in those uh, like, you know, couple days that it was off the steam store therefore to solve this issue i have since decided to fully remove the asset from my game this was only uh this was the only way to get the game back up on steam otherwise this could have been going on for a few more weeks given the legal deadlines imposed in the context of a dm dmca causing further damages lastly please be aware the game is back up on steam now with time trials and tricks challenges temporarily rem uh, removed. Halzoid, a known community modder and friend of mine, has reached out to offer his full development support. So shout out to that guy. He is he is coming clutch for the rooftops and alleys community. Um, I have been working uh, with Halzoid, I hope I'm saying that right, Halzoid, over the past week to save some time and get a new and improved time trial system back into the game for you all. Let's all thank Halzoid uh, for a second here for being an absolute lifesaver and helping me out thank you all for reading this statement and most of all thank you to the uh, for all the support throughout the last week while this has been all going on much love michael from the rooftops and alice team and then uh not long after um in october they've recently added the new time trial system where they've reworked all of it um and they've even made some quality of life changes i'm pretty sure uh, they've also added a kick player option uh in the tag start menu just a lot of uh a lot of nice little quality of life changes as, as well as the update for the tile uh time trials so now there's a new icon and if you hit it it, it shows like a new little a new little ring it did not look like this before honestly i think it looks really nice now it looks kind of flowy and stuff i, I find it very very cool um, but yeah, I, I did play it briefly yesterday just to see what it looked like. So this isn't my first time like seeing the new time trials, but I think it's cool that they've, uh, made it look cool. Obviously it came as a bit of a shock to them. I imagine getting the DMCA strike. So knowing that they've managed to pump out the new time trials this quickly is honestly insane. Especially because, um, obviously they didn't long release multiplayer that long ago. So to like be right on top of it immediately, that's really, really good. Oh, I'm not going to beat my score. God knows how I beat it last time. Ah, oh, well. 
Um, let's go and maybe do the other trial. There's another one up here, I think, that we can do real quickly. And then I kind of want to show a really cool route that I've been using lately on construction. There's a reason I came to construction. Um, because what do you call it? There's a really, really cool route that I that I want to show. It's probably already been done before, but even so. All right. Let's go. Okay. Build it up. Nice. Oof. I don't know what they have planned for the future of this game. Because as most people probably know if they play this game, he is a, he is a solo developer, so it is going to take him longer to get updates out, but he's absolutely been crushing it lately. But the amount of hype for this game is really, really like nice to see. Especially because it's a solo developer, it just shows that, you know, he's made a fantastic game. Sorry, I need to focus here because I kind of want to crush this. Wah! We're going to use sprint to get up faster. Woo! Uh, do I do it? Do I do it? Woo! Yeah, I got gold. I'm a legend. Right, let me show the route real quick. Yeah, there's a certain route that I've been doing on construction. It starts all the way at the top and descends all the way down. It's just kind of a cool route, to be honest. To make sure I spawn on top. Okay, here's the route. Yeah, no, this is that. This is you can do whatever tricks you want in in this route, but Ooh. apart from that front flip, that front flip is so necessary. But I've been using this route for a while, just to get like descend construction. Been doing a lot in multiplayer with people. It's cool. Yeah, no, as I was saying, though, because he's a solo developer, it does take longer to get content out. But like I said, he's been absolutely crushing it so far. Just like I am absolutely crushing this route. Oh, I'm so good. No, I messed up. No, I didn't. That, that was technically correct. It wasn't the way I usually do it, but hell yeah. Woo! I really would love to see, possibly in the future, some like um, accessories. Uh, not accessories, uh, like utilities, if you will. So I would love to maybe see a wingsuit. I know it's a little bit of a cheeky request, but seeing a wingsuit in the game would be sick. Or uh, even like a parachute system. I don't know. I don't know how they would do that, but I think it would look. I think it would be really cool. Or maybe a grappling hook. A grappling hook would be cool as well. I don't know. There's so many possibilities they could add to this game because it is just like parkour you can add so much to it like this game has just so much potential where is a time trial by the way i'm, I'm kind of like searching for one here and i can't seem to find one yeah i found one i found a time trial <laughs> my little pigeon my little pigeon walk I, I love the pigeon quick start let's go let's go let's go Woo! oh that was not a very good uh jump there but screw it no i'm messing up so much It's fine because I'm nailing these jumps now. Woo! See, I like I like to try and play this game daily just to make sure like I don't get a bit rusty with it. <laughs> but obviously there is only so much content and so there is only so much playing. Obviously the skill ceiling is incredibly high for this game. So, I mean, for those that really want to improve, they have a lot of skill ceiling to work with. A bronze? No, I can't accept a bronze. I can't accept a bronze. It has to be better than bronze. Come on now. This time, this time, this time. I know, I know I can do it this time because I know, I know what to do now. No, okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hit that front flip perfectly, but I think I could still get the gold medal here. If I just, ooh. Yes, uh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. We'll still use the speed boost there just because it gets us up a little bit quicker. Nice. Into that. Very nice. Oh, that was a clean one. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, that, that is the new time trial system. Honestly, it, it's quite good. I do, I do really like the time trial system. Even though they've had to redo it, I, honestly, I think it's, I think it's nicer. I think it's better. I just think it looks a bit cleaner. It's unfortunate, like said, that they had to put in extra work that 
could have been maybe used somewhere else if they didn't get that DMCA strike, but it was just an unfortunate situation. But I'm glad they've I'm glad they've managed to bounce back, and I'm glad that they've managed to create a really really good system now. Honestly, I just think that the dev is so cool to be able to create a game like this on his own. And honestly, he's managed to tap into a market that just doesn't really have that many great games out there. There isn't that many good like parkour games out there. There's a couple, but I don't think there's a single game out there that gives you this level of creative movement. Usually parkour games decide what moves you're going to do, whereas at least in this game, you decide what moves you're going to do. Like if I want to do several side flips in a row, I can do several side flips in a row. Or if I want to do a f several front flips in a row, I can do several front flips in a row. Like there there's not many games that let you decide what moves you want to do. And for that reason alone, I just think it's such a like good game. I think it's like one of the best parkour games you can get.